Albrecht in the red corner, Solario in the blue corner. There you see the ages, three height advantage for Sean Albrecht. Very close on weight and reach almost identical. Rules of the cage here at the World Series of Fight. It's a 10-point must system. Three judges score the fight based on effective striking, gra grappling, aggression, and cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight will be three rounds in our World Series of Fighting lightweight division. First up, the man fighting out of the blue corner. At five foot six inches tall, he weighed in 154 and three quarter pounds. With a record of nine wins and six losses, fighting out of Modesto, California, USA, please welcome Gabriel Sorio. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, at five foot nine inches tall, he weighed in 155 and one half pounds with a record of 10 wins and five losses. Fighting out of Campbell River, British Columbia, Canada, please welcome Sean Albrecht. The referee in charge for this fight is Jaron Pillar. On my cue, gentlemen. Fighter, fighter, fight! Two more men making their debut at the World Series of Fighting. Both men wearing the black trunks. It'll be Albrecht with the black trunks with the white trim. Compact puncher is Gabriel Solorio. Yeah, he looked at the record of his opponent, uh, Solorio, and he goes like, I'm gonna fight myself in, go for a takedown, because I don't want to be number uh, 10, or exactly. number nine knockout. One of these guys can get their 10th win of their professional career. Maybe he threw him up wearing a tie boxing short. Some tie boxing shorts. Solorio is. So they, hey, I'm a tie boxer. Don't take me. Uh, I'm not going to take you down. But now, what we didn't expect is that Albrecht wants to take it to the fight to the ground. So maybe the tie boxing short mimic <laughs> worked. <laughs> Nobody told me. Multiple ways of looking at it here in round number one. Early goings. <laughs> You should have come up at the time you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think the shorts are enough. Boom. Right. Dirty boxing there inside the clinch. Ooh, nice kick to the lead out of it. Powerful strike there. Yeah, you see Solorio gets in that pocket there. He just yep. likes to fire away. And there, it's him. You see Albrecht shooting for a take -in. Wow. Sorry, got the better of that one. He's got it. No reason for him to get on the ground, is there? Great control, good hit. Can he stop it? No, nope, no, look at this. Albrecht has his back now. He's going to put the hooks in, yes, he's working for it. Solorios is closing the gaps, though, with his elbows, preventing his opponent from stepping in over his hips. There we go. So Solorio has right wrist control on Albrecht. What's he going to do with it? They go to the ground, and Albrecht seems content just to stay where he's at. Now he's trying to put the hook in deep and maybe choke, but Solorio recognizes it and straight spins away. Straight arm bar might come up. Oh, I thought he was looking for straight arm bar on the left arm of Solorio. In the hooks, no, not anymore. He was sliding behind the throat, but there was, he was on the side, so there was nothing he could do with it. It's like a chess match right now here in the lightweight division. Gabriel Solorio trying to find a way out of this as Sean Albrecht looks to be in control. All right, gentlemen, I need to see movement. There you go. I was just going to say the same thing here. If you're not going to do something, referee will put him back on the feet. 
nice knees there. That's to deliver kidney section or area. Solari just cannot find a way out of this, and Albrecht doing just enough to keep this fight on the ground, whether it's the side punches, the hammer fist, or the knees to the midsection. He's in a great offensive position. He's doing a really good job striking, you know, and slowly but surely. He's digging that right. Look at that, trying to get an extra there hook in. Go. There it is. You no, know, a little distraction again with the strikes on top. That's going to probably give him the left. Go for calf pressure now, which is left foot. All right, Overflow. boss, you're a defensive mastermind. If you're Solario, what are you doing? What do you need to do here? Explode upwards. Those you know? are all legal. Keep talking. Just step on your feet. You should now start on the yeah. feet. Pop up. Yeah. And defend, of course, that that rear naked choke. But he should do it again now. Cross himself up real. Move his body like a little angle away from his opponent and then step on the feet, go up. Coming up on 45 seconds to go here in round one. This one's scheduled for three in the lightweight division. Well, it's got to be frustrating if you're Gabriel Solorio. Oh. I mean, he's just been basically on his knees, taking these punches to the side of the head, and then the big knees from Sean Albrecht. But he's back on his feet, half a minute to go. And I think he's looking, yeah, you can look at the clock from that position so he sees what time he has. Nice high kick there. Coming up on the final 10 seconds of this round one. So round one will come nice to a conclusion job. here in Vancouver. Wow. You're doing fine. Just keep your hands off the cage. Want the Vaseline cleaned off. Getting set for round number two here in Vancouver in the lightweight division. Gabriel Solorio taking on Sean Albrecht. And it looked like Sean Albrecht really, boss, had his way in that first round, putting the pressure on Solorio, more dominant position, and really just made his life miserable for the latter part of the first round. Yeah, and plus that he was on top, you know, so he controlled go, his pace, his own Please, pace, and Solario did it. So, originally you would think that Solario would be more out of gas now yeah, than his opponent, but like we said, saw in another fight, that's not always the case. Fight! Here we go, round number two in the lightweight division. Sean Albrecht in the black trunks with the white markings, and the all-black trunks belong to Gabriel Solario. Solorio comes out with some power punches early on, and Albrecht shows his strength and just puts him up against the cage. You know, once they push you backwards, you should throw angles, go, move to the side, to the right, to the left, you know? Bring your opponent off balance. If you just let yourself be pushed backwards, well, we're going to have to repeat of round number one. Really, how the first round started in the clinch, not a dirty oh, boxing. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go. fight. Time in. Well, Jaron Vallel, the official, stepped in there. I think he thought he saw a, a low kick that might have connected to the sensitive region of Sean Albrecht. Stepped in. They said, "No, we're good." Started him right back up. Yes. Interesting to watch. There's steel. Watching Gabriel Solari, he's watching the big screen on the far side of the arena. Whether he's watching the different angle or just watching the clock. I think he's watching a different angle to see uh, what maybe a head or arm or leg is, you know, if he can't see it from this position. And again, he's going there from left kick to the body. What about Albrecht? Albrecht with another takedown, gets the single. Yep, that's up in the guard, though. Closes that guard off. Looks like this is not somewhere he wants to be. No, because it didn't really work out for him in round number one on the back, or uh, uh, on the knees, for that matter. And his opponent realizes that. Solario was looking for an armbar, so they, said, they told him to stay down. Don't come up too high. Don't give him space to go for submissions. Let's go. 
So Albrecht just controlling this, probably not the pace that the fans want to see, but Albrecht arm bar. is fighting it, fighting it, might have fight. it. Look at this, Solario trying to lock in the arm bar as Ooh. Albrecht was going to posture up and thought better of it. That was very nicely done. It was very close. That's the big uh, alarm bell going on down here for uh, Albrecht. Watch out. And that's why his corner was telling him, stay down, stay down. I think they understand the submission game of his opponent. He's starting to posture up, and Solario saw the opportunity. And he wisely brought it back down to the ground. Gentlemen, you need to work from the yep. guard. Three submission victories already. Under his belt. Sean Halbrecht moving up from the featherweight division does not seem to have a problem here at the 155. Now most of the time that actually helps you, you know, you can keep your natural weight. You can eat. Jaron Vallel says, not enough action on the ground. Let's stand him back up. 90 seconds to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three in the lightweight division. All right, now Solario's on top. Yeah, let's see what he can do. Have butterfly guard here for Albrecht. Is he going to use it as a reversal? For a reversal? Picking up the leg. Doing something. Right, yeah, he tried to use it there for the reversal. But Solario is all over him right now. He wants payback from round yeah, number one. That was a nice take on defense. Great job here. I think Albrecht might start feeling the effect a little bit, getting tired. 30 seconds, Sean. 30 seconds. Nice combination. Well, Solario notices it. He keeps coming forward now. Raising there with the big right. Boy, Albrecht's got to be careful. Coming in with his hands down. Upon that, 20 seconds to go now in round two. Wow. Both fighters are tired. Incident, incidental elbow damage, no big deal. Can we stop shooting from six feet away? Let's set it up. Here we go with the third and final round in the lightweight division. Sean Albrecht taking on Gabriel Solario. Both men in black trunks. Albrecht with the white advertising. Albrecht comes out now, firing. Looked like he was really tired at the end of round number two, but doesn't look like it right now. On the nice. unofficial boss route and scorecard, how do you have this one? Well, I would say one on one. Yep. Yep. So whoever wins this round could be the victor. See, it's uh, they're taking it easy on the takedowns now. That means uh, they're getting tired a little bit. So let's strike. And Solario is doing a great job. Yeah, yes. Nice there. And Albrecht. Well, these guys are not afraid to come to the center of the cage and just throw a few shots, and then back out and come back and do it again. Wow. 
Anderson is going to get a clear shot. He just kicked his butt. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Nice. She looked down for a body shot and he came up top of the left hook. Went to throw the high kick. Didn't do it. There it is. Well, they're throwing a lot of stuff. The question is, boss, is there any sting at the end of these kicks and punches? That's it. And, and, and nothing really connects. There's no clean shot. Somebody needs to land clean. Oh, spinning elbow, though. That just lands on the whole face. <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem. Grounded. Coming up on three minutes to go in this fight. Boss Root officially has it one round of peace. And right now, Sean Albrecht fishing for something. I don't know if he's going to be able to do much offensive damage from this position. Nice job here by Solario getting back up. Nice whizzer. That's what they call that hold he has with his right arm underneath the armpit. You want to keep pulling that up. Oh, nice. Look at the switch that he made. That was beautiful. Almost halfway down there. I, th I like those punches, the clotheslines. I was talking about it in another fight. They're very effective. They go behind the defense and they hit not really the back of your head, but almost. So it's still a legal shot, but very effective. Halfway through round number three, Albrecht now comes on as the aggressor. This creative way to try to get the, the slam down. Yeah, but nice defending here yeah. by Solario. Solario. Two minutes to go in the fight. Two minutes, that's it, Sean. That's it. You gotta get on top. You gotta take him down to win. You gotta get him down to win. Well, from Sean Albrecht tells him he needs to go. Take him down, be on top. I think they're going to break him up. Here yep. we go, here we go. Oh. Uh-oh, stopped at 129 as Albrecht takes a knee to the sensitive area. Wait, no coaching. Just wait. It started. Up to the official's discretion, Jaron Vallejo to give him up to five him minutes. Okay, let's get this done. Here we go. Fight. Yeah. A little higher than normal, yeah. but I felt so. Good. But you know, if it's a strap. Wow. That was oh, nice. Working that jab. Yep. And the right also left it up with it. Hands closed, gentlemen. He's really looking for that takedown. He's got one minute left. Both know. And that could be the deal breaker here. So, Solorio will keep it, try to keep it on his feet. As he's doing right now, he's got that wizard again. Both corners calling for their fighter to give all they have for the last 40 seconds. And Boss, I think it's the case of these guys almost punched each other out the first two rounds, and there's just not much left in the tank for round three. Yeah, it's very hard. At this moment, they go like, okay, this is a tough fight. They're just defending, just trying to go take him down. Not get caught in the last 25 seconds. That's it. And that just, take a gamble, you know? That's, oh, look How at that escape. This? I looked at over hopping. That's the kangaroo escape. Solario just jumps over the top of Albrecht, but now it's Albrecht that's going to take the back. Can he get enough done here in the final 10 seconds? Take him down right now! That's it. Wow, it's going to be a hot fight score. Solario and Albrecht go the distance in their World Series of Fighting debut here in Vancouver. Coming up on NBCSN Live later tonight, it's World Series of Fighting 7. Georgie Carcanyon taking on Lance Palmer, the cold main event. Jesse Taylor taking on Elvis Mutopchich and Nick Newell, notorious Nick Newell, has got a big fight with Canadian Saba Fadai as Nick Newell has made his way to the PNE Agrodome here in Vancouver. 
all smiles now, but shortly Newell will get on, as they call it, boss, the game face. Yep. Right now, let's go inside the cage. Don Andrews has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score this fight 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Gabriel Solario. Uh -oh. Yep. So it's Solorio that gets the victory over Sean Albrecht in a very impressive performance, especially boss in the latter rounds. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.